praise the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord. Well, uh, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. Well, uh, beloved people, beloved listeners, the Lord Jehovah, he spoke with me today in a very, very shocking way. And uh, this is the conversation I want to bring to you tonight. The Lord Jehovah today, he spent a greater part of this day taking me back to Mexico. And the Lord took me back to Mexico today. And he showed me the tremendous judgment that he has used me to bring to that nation. And he was speaking about it. He was showing me, look, you have done this. On this side, look, you have done this. So we are going across the country looking at the debris, looking at things, and he was speaking about the state of idolatry in Mexico. So the conversation has not changed. And then at the same time, he also raised the issue of deception in the churches of Mexico and uh, the continued presence of false apostles and false prophets, the ones for whom judgment has come. You all remember too well that when the Lord sent me to Mexico, when I went to Mexico, when I traveled all the way from the United States of America to Mexico to go warn them, you all now remember too well that uh, the reception, when I warned the false apostles and the false prophets to stop this game of deception they are engaging the Church of Christ on. Their reception was quite lukewarm. The, the, the reception was negative. Some of them ran away from the Amistad Pastores, Alianza Pastores, the meetings where I talked to them. The meetings, the, the, the conference of pastors, the fellowship of pastors, where I always met pastors and brought them the tremendous message of the Lord. And so this is, again, the same thing the Lord has raised. But today the Lord spent a greater part of this going back to Mexico, essentially showing me the amount of damage that has been done to that country by the judgment of the Lord. And then the Lord again still asked that Mexico repent. So the Lord is asking Mexico to repent. It was non-stop conversation, and then he said, the church has followed another road. So I saw the church. I was walking with them, the Church of Christ in Mexico, the non-Catholic church. Then I saw the church, the Pentecostal Evangelical, they took another road. And the Lord said, look, they have taken another road. So... The, the, the wrath of God is still directed at that nation. And the Pentecostal churches, they bear a greater responsibility. They have responsibility because they ought to know when the Lord sends a servant. Well, uh, after that, then the Lord spoke to me finally about Kenya. I always knew that the moment for Kenya would arrive. I knew it very, very well. I looked at the way they are executing themselves, the way they are carrying themselves in the face of this situation. And I always felt very sorry for Kenya. Even the way they treat the message and the messenger in this land, I always knew that their day will come. So finally, the Lord spoke to me about Kenya. And the Lord has commanded that the Kenyans clean up their idolatry. Today is when the command has been issued. Again, now the Lord has turned on Kenya. And he asked that I declare and command this nation to get rid of her idolatries. And this is extremely very critical because it's coming at such a time when Mexico has just been judged for the most hideous and the most heinous form of idolatry. 
but now the Lord is asking Kenya to clear all her idolatries, her idols. In fact, the Lord in the process raised to me a very important thing that many, many people in their workplaces, in their homes, on their tables, they have many idols. So the Lord even specifically said, tell them to clear up, to clean up the idols from their tables in their offices, in their workplaces, in their homes. They have those little, little things. Uh, the idols, that some of them are very subtle, very concealed, very hidden. You may not see. You may not look at it as an idol. But the Lord has now commanded that this land clean up her idolatry. And again, my prayer is that Kenya will not get to the place of Mexico, that people will start to clean up their homes, in Mexico, when I was in Mexico, in Cholula, where they do human sacrifice, I did a very big program in Cholula called Limpia to Casa. Limpia to Casa. Because I found out that in Cholula, apart from doing the human sacrifice they were doing on the pyramid, the Cholula, which the Lord sent me there to demolish, and you see that's why this, uh, the first, those who watch the documentary, the first church, that I presented there that was truck is actually a church in Cholula. So, um, so Cholula is a neighborhood, the neighborhood of Puebla. But anyway, uh, so in, in Cholula, I did a program called Limpia to Casa. So I went door to door, door to door, cleaning up Bulgaria, Chiseria, all the witchcraft. They were giving me the poisons, the witchcraft, because when the pastors tried to do so before, they were strangled at night by those demons. So the Lord led me there to clean up door to door. They were surrendering the witchcraft, the what, the, 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 the snakes. The, it was a big program. And we, we set, I set them on fire, uh, put petrol and set them on fire. It was a big program in Cholula called Limpia to Casa. But this is what the Lord is asking Kenya to do. Kenya has also reached that place of Limpia to Casa. In Spanish, limpia tu casa means clean up your home. So it was a home cleaning program I did in Cholula because I found out that Cholula had the human sacrifice going. They were, they would, once in a while they would slaughter an adult and on the altar on that hill. So, but most every year they slaughtered a virgin and they also slaughtered some dogs and so forth. So there was human sacrifice going on in Cholula, Brugeria, witchcraft, chiseria, everything was there. So the Lord did limpia to casa, door to door. So the witchcraft that the other pastors tried to touch, and most of them were, some of them were killed, died. So, so I, they, they surrendered so that I could set, try set them on fire at the central place. So the Lord is asking that Kenya does limpia to casa. Kenya does clean up your home. So go through your home, find little idols, uh, whatever you find, clean up. Those images you've collected, crush them, destroy them. Why? Because time has changed and the Lord has now commanded. And I know Kenyans are very obedient. They'll begin right tonight. Anything that looks idolatrous, the face of what, what, they will destroy them, however expensive. And then the third conversation tonight, the Lord has spoken now about idolatry across the nation. And the Lord has asked me to command all the nations to clean up idolatry. That is the third conversation that happened today. And then when I decided that I would give this message of the Lord tomorrow, then by voice the Lord came, by voice. He came and said, look, you have not yet told them to clean up their idols. Look, you have not told them. Tell them now. Again, when I decided that I would give this message tomorrow, to give this message to the nations of the earth to clean up their idolatry tomorrow, then the Lord came by voice, speaking by voice, and said, look, you have not told them. You have not given this message. You have not told them to clean up their idols. And that is the reason I gave it this late However, the most important thing there being the urgency and the gravity, the seriousness 
with which the Lord is treating this commissioning, this command, and this heavenly instruction. Look, you have not yet told them to clean up. You have not yet told them to clean up their idols. You have not given them the message. So he said, I should give it today and now. So this is absolutely critical, beloved people. And I am reading right now from the book of First. Chronicles chapter 5, verse 25. Again, First Chronicles chapter 5, verse 25. This is what he says. First Chronicles chapter 5, verse 25. He says, But they were unfaithful to the God of their ancestors and prostituted themselves to the God of the people of the land whom God had destroyed before them. So you see very clearly here that the Lord has a certain position regarding idolatry and he is not just about to change his position. You see very clearly that the Lord has sent me globally to, to demolish the idols of this world. That is the most important message here. In his divine power, in his immense uh, concealed and revealed wisdom, the Lord found it right, he deemed it fit, that he would destroy the idolatrous people that were living in the area that were going to be neighbors to the Israelites. Why did he do so? He totally decimated them. He wiped them out so that they may never ensnare. He did not leave a remnant of them. Because, you know, if he left a remnant of them, they would have some influence on God's people. They would bring that wickedness of idolatry to the people of the Lord. So that speaks to us all and to the nations of the earth now, it speaks to you, it instructs you, it instructs the church on God's position on idolatry. If there are any sins for which the Lord says flee, one of them is idolatry, the other one is sexual sin. The same sexual sin I rebuked in, in, in Ciudad, Mexico, eh? when I rebuked sexual sin in those churches, and in Mexico City, the Lord opened blind eyes. The Lord opened blind eyes in Mexico City. When I had gone to Mexico City to clean up Mexico City, to call them to repentance in my journey across Mexico, in the church that belonged to Trapala, the Lord healed many people, including opened blind eyes. And all these healings took place across Mexico, wherever I went. And the anointing was massive. People were being delivered at my entry into the church. Manuel Malvarez also, when I entered his church, tremendous visitation. And cleaned up all those bottles of alcohol and everything that were in that church. So they knew very well. They know God's position on sin, and they knew who was talking to them. Look at the devastation that is happening there now. But the Lord has now directed his attention to Kenya and is asking that Kenya clean up idol worship because time has come for the nations to conform, to now conform to the ways of the Lord, to the righteousness of the Lord. And then the Lord has trained his focus now to all other nations and he has commanded that they clean up all their idols and set them on fire and begin to worship Jesus, worship Jehovah through Christ Jesus. Idolatry is a treacherous sin. It is reckless at this hour for anyone to be in idolatry. So the Lord has now commanded all nations across the earth to turn away from idolatry, to burn their idols, to crush them, and focus on Christ Jesus the Lord and reach God the Father through Christ Jesus. In Mexico, they observe Dia de San Miguel. 
And I rebuked that the day of St. Michael, dear the San Miguel. And I rebuked that very much. And now they know better. It's time to repent and prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. The churches in Zabaleta, hmm? Colonia Bay Horizonte, the churches all over Mexico, Puebla, You know the position of the Lord on idolatry. You need to lead the entire nation of Mexico. Look at how desperate Mexico is. It's as though Mexico is now crying for a new savior. For all these years, though, it's like they were crying for a savior. They did not get a savior until they worshipped Santa Muerte. Santa Muerte. They worshipped uh, they worshipped Guadalupe, Virgin de Guadalupe. Guadalupe. They are on Maria, they are on Mary, Virgin Mary, a Mexican. They even created another Jesus who looks Mexican in those churches, in the Catholic churches. But the Lord is saying, time is over now, and now you know it's better that the wrath of God is in the land. But all the other nations, Kenya inclusive, please begin serious work tonight. The mouth of the Lord has spoken, the Lord has commanded the cleaning up of idols, including spiritual idols, immorality. If your wife is an idol, then that is the place now for you to start focusing on Jesus and worship Jesus, and in that way probably you become now a better husband also. Yes, you will. Or if your husband is an idol, or if your son is your idol in your house, that will become a better father to that son, a better mother. This is the hour at which the Lord is cleaning up idolatry from the hearts of men. He's mowing them down with an immeasurable force. Now in Mexico, as we speak, there is a mountain, there is a ridge. The Lord dug a ridge across the mountain. Now there is a landmark in Mexico, as we speak now, a landmark that says this land, this land was visited by the mighty prophet of the Lord. He walked here. A landmark. It remains there forever until Messiah comes. It forever will testify that this land was spoken to. This land was won. But for the other nations, you can now prepare for the coming of the Lord. Get rid of your idols. Turn away from sin. The Bible says, for without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. The churches in the United States of America also stand warned. Turn away from that defiling gospel of prosperity, the money, money, and nudity in the church, and never, no, zero focus on holiness. And yet the most important message of the Lord handed down on the cross is holiness. The most important distinction between the church and all other idol worshippers is holiness. To be holy. Righteousness. Because that is all that earns you entry into the kingdom of God. The church in Australia needs to repent. There is an earthquake coming between Australia and Hobart. I don't know how close it is to Australia, but Australia needs to repent. And the church in New Zealand needs to repent. And I'm going back. I'm going back to India. India needs to turn away from idol worship. I see myself being sent to India soonest. Tenali, you know that I've been to Tenali and rebuked your idols. Coimbato, I've been to Coimbato, rebuked your, your idols. I've been to Kerala. I've been to Delhi. I've been to Andhra Pradesh, Hyderabad. And told you to turn away from those idols because the Messiah is now coming. That you may be born again. I've been to Mumbai. The Messiah is coming. Shalom.